I'm Alexi Panos. I love working as a model and TV host, but when I'm not here on set, I live a completely different life. We are turning extreme situations into extraordinary results. Our mission is to innovate, renovate, and elevate the lives of people in need. This is Operation Build. Mead, Colorado. Population 3,045. Doesn't have a stoplight, but it has a motto. A little town with a big future. It's a frontier town. Founded in 1906, back when solar energy simply meant building your house to take advantage of the sun's warmth. Today's high-tech solar systems can generate clean, limitless power for homes like these. And it's helping our country reduce its reliance on fossil fuels. But for homeowners like Ron and Michelle Beaver, who have lived in this quiet neighborhood for 14 years, there were more considerations. So what brought you here to Mead, Colorado? The, the area, the fact we have acreage, mm -hmm. uh, the openness, and he built the house, so oh, you it was... Did. Uh, I did, it took a while. But. Wow. We came here from California and I promised her if we moved back here, I'd build her house, so I did. That's great, yeah, the area driving in, I mean, it's such a quaint area. I personally, like being from a city, I love seeing all the open space. It's open. Oh, I love the horses and the cows, it's just, it's brilliant. Operation Build is always looking for ways to help people live greener lifestyles. Today, using solar energy to power your home is a great place to start. But there's such a wide array of choices and every home is different. So things can be a little confusing. We're here in Mead, a half hour drive north of Denver, to find out how Ron and Michelle settled on the system we're installing today. They've looked long and hard to find the best solar system available for their home that they can also afford. I'm bringing along a team from Dow Solar. Josh Wimble, who can explain how different systems work, Rendon Hunt, who can talk about financing, and Jim Keenahan. He's an inventor who actually works on developing solar systems. He's gonna join us later to show me how these solar units are put together in a very hands-on way. So let's talk about solar. It's a big choice, it's a big investment. Why did you guys decide to do it now? Uh, the energy that we're gonna produce ourselves. It was the durability of the whole thing. Plus, I like the incentives we get back for the tax breaks. And it's it just made sense to go ahead and do the whole thing. Great, so had you ever considered solar energy before? No, not because of the big, hate to say it, big ugly panels that normally go up on your roof or mounted to pulse out in your yard. And I didn't want that to be put on my house. We'll wait to see what it is, but they say it's gonna be very, very good. Perfect. I know uh, Jim has promised that I can get up and help out as well, so. Yeah, it's really cool because, you know, you can actually stand on it. Uh, a lot of people ask if it's, you know, something like a traditional roofing material, if it's really fragile. It actually has all the same building certifications that you'd expect of a roofing product. Yeah, I think that's great. And I love that the product's made in the States. Yeah, that's yes. Right? That's what I like. You like that too? Yes, made in the USA. It's so rare to hear these days, right? I heard that, I'm like, really? Yeah, we actually, um, right there in Michigan, we have everything is assembled by the actual uh, American workers that's at our headquarters. They're assembled and shipped out directly from there to the roofer here who brings them out to your house. And then the entire process, while you work with the roofers to have this installed, it's a pretty quick process. Making electricity from solar energy became a reality in the 1950s. Today, solar is an integral and cost-effective way to power homes, office buildings, and even cars. Ron and Michelle Bieber have wanted to install solar panels on their roof for years, but they didn't want a conventional solar system because of the way they look and the cost. Many homeowners qualify for financial assistance to install a solar system. I chatted with Rendon Hunt to find out more. 
All right, so one of the biggest concerns is the cost effectiveness of this. Let's talk about that, because I know as a consumer, I'm really interested in the benefits of solar energy, Absolutely. but it seems so out of my price yeah. range. Well, a couple of things that people don't realize in the solar market is that there's some fantastic incentives for you. So there's a 30% federal tax incentive that's ongoing right now. And then you also have individual local incentives that you need to look into. And then, of course, the best part of this product is the fact that we're creating energy for you. Of we're course. generating that energy. We're cutting your electric bill. So that upfront cost certainly ends up paying itself back and much more when you move forward. Yeah, now that's something I'm interested in, too. About how long does it take for the investment to pay itself off? Absolutely. It's, it's different market to market. A lot of it is pending on the different types of incentives that you have, mm -hmm. whether it be uh, state incentives or local incentives. I've seen paybacks that were as soon as two years. Wow. I've seen them as long as 12 years. So it really depends mark to market. What happens if I move? If you move, you can actually, you'll get more value out of your house based off of having that solar. Uh -huh. So we've had some research reports that have been done that have really shown the value of your house increasing and appreciating as a result of having solar on your home. That's great. So added home value in the process. Without a doubt. That's fantastic. Dow Powerhouse Solar Shingles are the perfect solution for Ron and Michelle. Jim Keenahan is going to get up on the roof with me to show me exactly how they're installed. Hey Jim, how's it going? Like it. Looks like uh, your boys are getting things done pretty well. Yeah, quickly. they're doing a good job. Yeah, so tell me what's been happening. Well, we've got the underlayment on the roof. Yeah. And the starter course of the shingles. Great. And we're ready to start putting some solar. Yes. Does that mean I actually get to get up and help? You bet. Perfect. I'm going to go prepare myself, and you prepare yourself to witness the magic on the roof, OK? Jim, so how do we do this? Okay, so this is the solar shingle itself right yeah. here. Okay. And uh, so the first flat. thing, yeah. So the first thing you'll notice about it is what's different about this from a panel yeah. is you don't see any wires. Yeah. So this is meant to go on the roof by a roofer. Okay. We have the electrician working on the inverters and everything like that, but the roof can be done by the roofer and the electrical work can be done by the electrician down below. Nice. So oh. each one of these will tie together without them handling any wires. Yeah. And then when they go through the roof, that's the only place that there'll be an actual conductor going down there to connect to the inverters. That's so great. So now is this something that someone can install themselves or should you have a professional do it? Yeah, we should have a professional. Okay. You know, this product was meant to install real easily, uh -huh. but you have to keep in mind that you are working with a high voltage DC power source right. and uh, it's your roof too, so you want this to last. So right now we're only doing it through authorized installers. We want to make sure that everything is done right so it can last. Totally. All right, so how do we actually install these? Okay. What do you think? Oh, wow, that looks nice. Ron? Awesome job they did. You can't even hardly tell it from down here. I know. Has it, 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 you know, met up to all your expectations? It just blends in with it. I mean, it's like a shingle. It really is, Great. Right? Yes. All right, so who wants to draw out the bill for the electric company? I will. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to them. Exactly. So now that you've been through the whole process from start to amazingly quick finish, would you recommend this to friends and neighbors? I would. Everybody I knew. Yeah, I think I will too, by the way. I think they'll be asking. <laughs> so these here are the inverters. This is basically like your in-home power plant that's converting the energy generated from the sun on your roof right here and putting it back into the grid. So the, uh, the DC, the direct current, comes down through here and right in here it's converted into AC, the alternating current. And that's what allows you to be right there in the grid using it for your utilities and then also feeding it back into the grid so that you get those credits on your energy bill. So once this is all activated, I don't have to control anything, adjust any controls whatsoever. The whole point of this, it's supposed to be virtually maintenance free. So these inverters do the entire job for you. They turn on in the morning when the sun rises, they start converting that electricity, and then at night they power themselves down. 
It looks really nice. There's nothing I need to do. I can just watch my utility bill go down. Well, I'd call that mission accomplished. We want to thank Josh, Brendan, and Jim from Dow Solar for educating us today about solar power. And also our homeowners, Ron and Michelle. And thank you for watching. If you know anyone in need, whether recovering from a natural disaster or any negative life circumstance, we hope you'll email us. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Operation Build is ready to take on challenging new missions every single day. Until next time, I'm Alexi Panos.